Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Journey to the Savage Planet, or, you know, exploration of the Savage Planet with Aussie Dev Fro. Uh, one of the most Australian uh, Fro's you will ever find, who also happens to be a developer. What type of developer, you may ask? Uh, a developer of really bad jokes while playing games. That is my calling. Uh, we all know it, uh, so let's all embrace it. <laughs> so um yeah this will be episode four of journey to the savage planet uh last episode we dealt with death we dealt with lava we dealt with upgrades as in the unlocking of upgrades let's have a quick look over here at our 3d printer and uh see what we've got so um we can now make a protein tether which i'm assuming is a grappling hook yes grapples onto compatible objects from a distance let's do it Okay, so the pro proton tether. Perfect for scaling sheer cliffs and clambering into weird arbitrarily floating cubes. You uh you couldn't see it, but I was giving the camera a look. Now there is no camera on the screen because uh me and you know syncing up camera and microphone have a very, very historically tragic past together. However, um I was giving the camera a look. So the protein tether was clearly the upgrade we needed to uh to unlock the the pathway to our next qu main quest objective uh and it felt like i definitely needed the jump pack to get that so i feel like we've definitely gone the right way about it wait not required on current mission oh weird that something's locked uh we can also grab the supercharge shot we have way too many resources so we may as well just grab it So if we have a fully charged battery, we can fire a supercharged shot. We need a new element for fast reload. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Uh, there's an element we need to look for for that. That's okay. Uh, better utility belt. We probably need that. I, I, yeah. We just got to find new elements. I think we need alien alloys. I have no idea where we're going to find it. Maybe if we follow this uh, kill it with fire quest, but let's, you know, let's get back out there. There's some mail here. Let's have a look at our mail. We haven't done that for a little bit. You know, we're back at the computer. We may as well look at all this other stuff. Wait, what the hell? Why did the computer just take so long to open? We've done no alien research. Oh shit, we can... Oh, look at this! These are all the creatures. Okay. Uh, we have not encountered... What the hell is that? There is a giant floating cube. That's, uh, that's a little scary. That, that is a little scary. Alright. More videos. We don't need... Yeah, we don't, we don't need to watch more videos. We do have some... We have do... We do have two mail here. Exciting vacations. Are you desperate to escape the dismal drudgery of your daily grind and can barely find the time to stop and think about how bored you are? Do you feel tired of being lame, predictable, and overwhelmingly dull person, but don't have the cash to do something fun for once in your sad, pathetic life? Oh my god, hashtag relatable. Have you ever dreamt of navigating the lush foliage of the Amazon, feeling the mists of Nigeria on your face, or swimming amongst the vibrant colors of the Great Barrier Reef? Only to remember that such wonders e exist either in burst into flames or sank into the ocean long, long ago. Um, Orsto, hashtag, going to happen in the future. Let extra reality tours whisk you away by injecting your fantasy vacation straight into your brain. Enjoy perfect weather. Visit impossible destinations. Be an interesting person. The choice is yours. For a limited time, we're offering 50% off our Platinum Friendship Package. Simulate your actual friends and fully immerse yourself in a wild fantasy that people like you want. That, sorry, let me re restart that entirely. That people want to like you and want to be around you. Whew. I need to grab a drink after that. That was a little intense. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I mean, why would I say sorry? That was a cool voice. All right, uh, exciting news. Uh, this is, this is a, okay, so this is a bank, all right. We here at the Monocorp First Galactic Bank of Commerce 
a proud member of the Global Verse family of corporations and financial subsidiaries. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Financial freedom is a mere half century away. You know what? I'm going to use hashtag relatable again. Let's get out of here. I don't need to be depressed any further than I already am. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Okay, so it seems to be that the Meteor Crater is where the game wants us to go to unlock the main mission. Towering Crystals is where we're going to get the element for Kill It With Fire to learn probably our own grenades. I want to go uh, back to Outside the Javelin. And I want to try out our new grapple. You'll have to prepare the Javelin later. But whatever. Let's focus on your main job here. Exploring and cataloging everything this planet has to offer. The more you scan, the more blueprints Kindred will send us. Technically, they could send us all the blueprints right now, but they will spend the money to transmit them until we prove we actually need them. I mean, that's fair call. how I feel about this since they created me, but yeah. <laughs> I can't say how I feel about this because they created me. Oh my god. All right, so we can now look. We can now zoom along these super these these higher up areas. So I mean, let's um. I mean, we can go straight to these spore trees. We're going to be careful, though. I'm pretty sure these trees are dangerous. And we should also have a look at our... Oh, let's not ingest that. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! No, I... 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 Oh, no! No, no, no. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> make it stop. Oh my god, where am I? That was horrible. Is there anything over there we need? Because that was just disturbing. I don't think we can destroy the tree. Oh. I tried to supercharge it, but it sort of did this weird... I can't supercharge right now. It's on cooldown, okay. I think we need to get over there, but like somehow follow the path. Because there's definitely something there. Look, there. A Voltivore pimple. Some people actually enjoy watching pimples pop. Those people are weirdos. Look, I don't... I'm not going to judge anyone's kink. If you enjoy watching pimple popping videos, that's totally fine. It's a little weird, but it's fine. <laughs> right, so there's still like a whole bunch. Like, we've done... That's the squid area. We're going to grapple around there in a second. I just want to try and figure out how do we get over here without like being in a delirium. I think this skeleton has given me the pathway. Because if we jump over here, we can sort of walk this way. Still, what the heck is all that? I can't see it from here. Look, there's even another red one over there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff up there. We just can't get to it without, like, you know, hallucinating. Whoa, what is that? Nature's little hoarder. A living vault. To crack it open, investigate the nearby area for clues. Well, I think these pimple things are the, are the clues, right? Yeah, there should be one more. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> what is it? Amazing. You found a different nugget of the alloy we've been searching for. This should still allow me to perform the necessary repairs, and I salute your proclivity for self-direction. Oh my god. We legit just found the thing we were meant to find for the main quest, but it was a different one. That is actually hilarious. Which is also kind of annoying, because now we don't have the map marker to the one that was going to be a bit more obvious. Oh well. Um, we'll find it. I'm sure we'll find it. It's just what, you know, it's just what you get for exploring, you know? They're just snowy puffer birds, they're fine. I did see orange goop though somewhere, so I feel like we're gonna have to go this way. Let's try to sprint through so we don't get, you know, hallucinogens pop pumped into our sinuses.
puff a bird seem immune from it. That's okay. Wait, I swore I could see an orange goop somewhere. Maybe I was wrong. I could have been wrong. I don't really want to jump down, but okay. Ah. Is that another alpha? That is another alpha over there. But why would it go down there? Ooh, I hear sparkles. I hear sparkles. There might be a cave underneath us. Just look around a little bit. I don't know if there's anything up here. No. It's just random platforming. For platforming's sake. Oh, there's definitely some orange goop over there. Maybe that's what I saw. Alright. Let's drop down here and see if there's a cave. I'm hearing with that weird noise again. Oh yeah, there is a cave. Aha! A carbon and silicon. Excellent. We'll grab whatever's in here too, just in case we lost some of it. There we go. Excellent. 50 of each. I like it. Definitely worthwhile coming down here. Let's have a quick look around. Just in case I did miss something. I don't think so. That's the spiky tree that's up there. That's a, an alpha puffer bird. Ignore that. Ooh, another cave. Yes. There is something down here. Hello. Secret nearby. Is the secret the Oh, hello. We're going to eat this. Might eat. That one had some hair in it. Yeah, legit. That one had some like grubs and hair in it. That's not that's not cool. Oh. Why is that? Huh. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure how we do this. That is really hard to time. Just saying. Okay. I feel like the puffer bird is key. Wait, there was a puffer bird here, right? Huh. We'll go there in two seconds. I wanna I wanna try and work out the secret. I thought there was a puffer bird here. Maybe I should scan it. This door seems to respond to your energy signature. A big electric jolt should disable its mechanism for a while. I'll update your compass if the cartographers find anything to do just that. Right. Okay. We should have scanned it first. That would be very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources Ooh. on this planet. Stay tuned. Stay tuned? Okay, will do. Alrighty, that's fine. We'll get that upgrade. At least we know it's there now. Um, I do need a puffer bird over here, which it is doing very kindly without the um, bait. Thank you. See ya. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. And nutritious. Mine. Speaking of nutritious and delicious, we got 13 now. We're doing really well on the goop. Cool. I hear more sparkles. I could hear more sparkles. Hidden in here? Yes. More carbon. Oop, that's what I like to see. You know what? I'm gonna hold the poop instead. <laughs> oh, not doing not going that way. Okay. So I think we've discovered everything we kind of can do on this side of the of the um of the area. That's the jellyfish hole that tricked us last time. I remember that. It wasn't very fun. In fact, it was actually kind of terrifying for a first go. Huh, why is it telling me to go that way? What is our main quest at the moment? 
Bring the alien alloy back to the javelin. Oh, okay. We don't really need to worry about that. The shock fruit stabilizer. I want to keep tracking kill it with fire. But um, before we do that, I want to start grappling. How do we use our grapple? We just left bumper it. Whoa, that was so cool. I'm all for this. Give me that. Delicious. Let's go. Whee! That's so good. What a wonderful thing we've got now. How do we do this, though? Why can't I... Can I not grapple? Am I not allowed to grapple that one? Hello? It popped up for a second. I'm like right on the edge. Maybe I gotta jump. It is shining. Oh, there we go! Oh my god, we made it. Oh, we went too far! I'll take this. Yoink. Is there any alphas here? No, there's no alphas here. Good. I was worried for a second there might have been an alpha. Also, we should be careful of those explosive little pods. We'll take that. Although, we also kind of want one of these. Don't know how to get it over there, though. Oh, no. This is what we want. Boom, this dude. Alright. So we can make this throw. Come on! Oh, I missed. Let's try it again. I think I missed. I did not miss. We actually made that. Okay, but now how do we uh, get over there? I see something to shoot. But there's nothing to grapple? Unless there is, we just can't see it. Hold on. Hold on. There is something over there. We're just going to figure out how to grapple up there. I'll take this. Yoink! More health. We're even more badass than before. Um, there is still no way- Ah, there it is. I see it. I see the grapple point. Okay. Hopefully we can make it. Let's go! Woo! Look at that! We've actually almost found one-fifth of these orange goops. I'm kind of excited about it. Also, more silicon. Excellent. Alright. Huh. It's kind of nice just looking around. There is actually a whole zone down there. Oops, did not mean to do that. I wonder what is down there. I kind of want to go there. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> I thought we mucked that up. Oh, that would have been scary. Okay. So there is a whole other spot down here. Let's just jump down here. Almost, you know... Fall to our doom. Um, I think we go this way. Yes. I think we're meant to go up from here, but I'm kind of going the reverse way. Because there's definitely... Yeah, there's definitely something down there we've never seen before. So I'm just looking for a safe way down. There's a lot of puffer burbs over there. Alright, looks like I should be able to make this quite easily now, but let's let's continue the, on our current trajectory where it's safe. So there's there's the place where the squids drop through. And once we explore this, I think I'm, we're pretty good on the snow area. You know what? Let's actually do this. Here we go. So I actually want to go along this way. There we go. Entered a different zone. Sharangar's Frigid Embrace. That's going to take us up there, which I don't really want. Kind of want to stay... Ooh, okay. Well, we're here now. We are here now. Um, Welp. Oh, goody. That looks safe. What's that noise? What the hell was that? Weird dropping fruit. Bom Bomodoro. Imagine the indigene of 
indignity of dying to a giant falling tomato. I mean, it definitely feels like something I could do. You tell me these tomatoes can kill me? Hang on. There we go. Alright, well, let's just not die to the tomato. Ow! I don't know what hit me, but a tomato hit me. Maybe, like, um, maybe the goo itself is dangerous? Oh, there's another one. There was just another one. Okay, good. Let's just run. Alright, well, that was a time. Let's go in the dangerous looking purple crystal-y area. Kane's Icy Refuge. Again, we're doing a lot of exploring. We probably don't have to do just yet, but why not? Alright, we've got a few pathways. Oh, well, here we go. can only get this if we have the jump pack, and we absolutely have the jump pack. Got it? Alright, there's there's a lot going on here. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Essentially, anything that's not purple, we want to look at. Keep trying to reload with... Ooh, hello. Uh, that... Definitely looks evil. I don't think we want to touch that water. I feel like that water will eat me. And not in the fun kind, fun way. I mean, definitely the painful death way. Okay. Alright, looks like we've got another exit, maybe? Whee! Ooh, baby! What have we found? We have found all sorts of stuff. Hello. Looks important. You should break it. This immaculate alien vessel's ornate design represents blah blah blah. Chest good open now. All right then. I mean, the puff birds around are okay. Um, I see some more resources around. I wonder if there's a way to like get to these resources. Again, having the jump pad is definitely going to help us here. Beautiful, more silicon. We could definitely do with more of that. Got another exit there. I don't think there's any more like super awesome resources in here. There is three buttons though. Ooh, actually, hang on. Thought you could hide from me, cheeky little carbon. Oh, damn it. How the heck do we get on that? Oh, what? Damn. Do you think maybe we need to get a higher... I mean, this is a higher platform. There we go. There we go. There's got to be something else up here. What? Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, hello. Well, slapping this does nothing. What? Why is there a hidden button here that I can't interact with? Alright. No. No. I feel like the symbol... Hang on, is there more than one button here? Do we have to press the buttons in order? Maybe we do. Hold on. We found one button. Well, that's not going to work. Why would I even think that would work? Hold on. I'm sure we'll figure something out. It didn't say that I needed a tool to do it. Because if you need a tool for something, the game does say, uh, we'll find it. Hmm. I'm very confused. Wait, do we need the puff burbs to sit on it? Hold on. Do I need puff burbs to activate it? No. Let me guess, there's another button in here. There is. Hmm. 
Nani? How do you open chests? This is probably super obvious. I've literally done everything except... Shoot this down. Which gives us stuff we already have. Um... Can we, like, push them on there? I haven't tried shooting the chest. Hmm. You seem stuck. Let's get you out of there. Maybe we need to get the burbs on there? Possibly. Look, so we've got grapple seeds. Grapple seed did nothing. Gelatinous glob. Allows us to bounce. Might have broken it. There we go. Uh, blinding bile. Just means I can't jump anymore. Well, that was annoying. Um, maybe I need a re maybe I need one of those, um, attractor things. A bit of bait. Yeah, so you just jumped on that. It did nothing. I'm definitely missing something. Maybe I need to- Oh! Seems to be related to the alien chest. I will need to find something near that will turn it on. Okay. So we found that. Let's quickly go scan the actual button. I should have just scanned them from the start. There we go. It must mean something. Okay. So it's not saying I need... It's not saying I need a new piece of equipment. I honestly don't know here. Okay, a fully charged shot won't do it. Wait, what? It's blue now. What did I do? Was it the fully charged shot? Let's try it again. No, it wasn't a normal shot. Let's just try a slap. It's not a normal slap. Okay, it's the fully charged shot. There you go. We actually legit need the fully charged shot. Wait, no. <laughs> what did I do? How did I turn it off? <laughs> what did I do? How did I activate it? Oh my god, I'm so lost. What did, <laughs> what did I do? How does one interact with the buttons? I am so confused. I do believe you just scan it. You scan them. Alright, cool. There you go. Knowledge has been obtained. Knowledge has been attained. So, apparently scanning a button is the same as pressing a button. Who knew? Um, I certainly didn't know, but that's okay. Because we're here now, and we got this sorted. Chest is open. Hey! More alien metal? Betcha it's more alien metal. It's totally more alien alloy. Alright. Sorry about that. That was really long and annoying. I don't know how much longer is going to be in this episode because I have to cut out like a couple of minutes. But we'll continue. We'll finish exploring this cave while ho holding poop. Alright. What's through here? Ah. Oh. It's just a... Puffer's Den of Respite? Aww. It's a very cute little place. I don't see any secrets here. Yeah, there's legit nothing here. It's just a cave. Um. 
I will now turn it into the Puffer's Den of uh, Massacre. Hmm. Kind of um, anticlimactic, actually, I must say. <laughs> Alright, we got the alien alloy, so we may as well just like head back to the ship and see what that does. If I need to skip ahead, I'll skip ahead. Because since we are, we might go over time. Get wrecked, jellyfish. Get wrecked second jellyfish! And you know what? While we're here, we may as well tell the third jellyfish to, uh... To, uh... uh to, uh... Get wrecked! Oh god, we're getting wrecked! We got wrecked instead! Jellyfish OP! Got him. What am I talking- Jellyfish aren't OP. Should stop panicking. Chat, why are you panicking? There's no reason to panic. There we go. An alien alloy must be used for our more enhanced, um... Upgrades. There we go. What do you got? We have seen that one. I'm waiting for something new. Alright. Deposit the alloy into the javelin's sucker tube. What the hell is a sucker tube? That's a meat buddy. What's a sucker tube? Is the sucker tube outside? I think it is. Hold on. Yeah, tell. Oh, tell, but outside. Whoops. Ambient temperature 112 degrees. Vital signs nominal. What sucker tube? <laughs> And it says 12 meters this way. 9 meters. I mean, I could just track it. There we go. You do want me to go inside. Okay. Slap this teleporter. This bad boy can teleport me across half a planet. Um. Now we're back here. Stop. What's a sucker tube? That's not a tube. That's not a tube. That's where we come out of when we die. What's a sucker tube? Is it down here? No, these are just teleports. Where's our ship's sucker tube? Do I just... Oh. Alright. Um, totally not garbage. Sure. Yay! Eventually allow you to leave this planet. Better still, this particular alloy seems to be capable of crafting many different upgrades. I have unlocked several new blueprints in your 3D printer. Excellent. Christmas over here. Yay! I like Christmas. Also, I do believe we have a second alloy, but I think it took it as well. Oh wow, okay. So we can we can get fast reload now with one alien alloy. Um we can also get uh, five objects of any type with an alien alloy. That's cool. Smarter visor. Increases zoom and survey range. I've totally not been using survey. Um, but that's okay. How do I give you the second alien alloy I have? Like, I, I don't know what I clicked on. So I definitely had a second one, right? Unless the first one was used for the repairs and the second one... Alright, well that's interesting. What do we want? Better utility belt, faster reload, or a smarter visor? Honestly, I'm not really using the visor. And, we're, again, we're not really using our utility belt too much, so... I'm gonna get the faster reload. There we go. ka -ching! Excellent. Perfect. Alrighty. Well, that is definitely gonna do it for today. I'm averaging about two episodes a day with this, which is pretty cool. Gets me ahead of the game, which will be nice. Might try to look to do three tomorrow, but I do have another project I need to I need to get going tomorrow. Um, that is also, ironically, for YouTube. I really want to know what's going on in the shower. Um, but yeah, again, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Let me know uh, if there was anything here that made you rage in today's episode or anything that you liked about it. I really do appreciate 
uh, any and all comments or any and all likes that you d guys do decide to give the videos uh, does help with the YouTube side of things and, and you know, gives me a little bit more to, to sort of look at when I wake up in the morning. So that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying making it. Hope to see you guys again soon. Have a good one.